Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. And this first story is from Birmingham. It comes from the Birmingham Mail by James Rogers. It's about an armed robbery that went wrong and a shop owner that fought back and managed to prevent a robbery. The CCTV footage shows the moment that the armed robbers enter the shop with a shotgun but end up leaving empty handed after the owner fought them off with a cricket bat. Tony Bangar, who is 49, decided to fight the thugs after they burst into his store armed with a deadly firearm and demanded cash from the till. He was staring down the barrel of a sawn off bolt action shotgun and Tony grabbed the weapon as the gunman tried to pull the trigger. He then instinctively grabbed a cricket bat which was lying on the counter after playing in the park with his kids. He then chased them out the shop and automatically from hearing that story, I know people say that he's a have a go hero, but I would never recommend ever doing that in that situation. He's very lucky to have got away without being shot and even more seriously killed. He has a family and children and for whatever was in that till, it would not have been worth losing his life. And for whatever reason, this kid either decided not to shoot this gun or maybe the gun didn't have any bullets in it and he was using it as an intimidation. Jordan Cattell, 22, and Lewis Crunchley, 23, were jailed for a combined total of 10 years after the terrifying raid on March the 24th, 2020. Tony said that he acted on instinct when he defended his business, that he ran in the Brown Hills area of Warsaw for the last 12 years. The dad of three said he wasn't going to let them get away easily. I know the papers love stories like this, but the reality is to be very careful in these situations. He goes on to say that his wife and children were upstairs at the time, and he said that he felt the need to protect them. He said it was risky tackling a gunman like that, he said. But again, they wasn't there for his wife and children. They was there for the money in the till. It was a very simple transaction. He said it was at the beginning of COVID lockdown and he put a notice outside the shop saying one person was allowed in at a time. The two guys came in and he told them this and then the guy pulled out a shotgun from his trousers and I grabbed the barrel of the gun. He was not expecting this to happen. He tried to pull the trigger but he could not do it as I was grabbing his hand and with the other hand I took the bat from the counter. He said he was lying on the counter because he just had a cricket game with his kids outside. We always used to play cricket after school, we love cricket. At this point, he fancied his chances, he said, and despite the fact they had a gun and they ran away with him chasing them with the bat. His son came downstairs and called the police. It was over in two minutes, he said. I was not expecting this. I was the only man inside the shop at the time. And when I grabbed the gun, I know it could have fired. He was closing and at this time, he said there was only £40 in the till. I don't know why I did it over just £40 really. I just reacted. It was all over so quickly. And that is literally how simple it is. And when you're not thinking in the right state of mind, £40. He could have lost his life for 40 quid. He said his children were terrified in his home upstairs. And the scary thing is, is that someone comes with a gun. He's glad that they're behind bars now. Wolverhampton Crown Court heard that the gunman Katow and his accomplice Crutchley targeted the Lifestyle Express after earlier threatening a pedestrian with a weapon. Both men had been drinking that day and went out with a 410 gay shotgun with the intention of acting tough and taunting people. The thugs were arrested at a flat on Brown Hills High Street where the weapon was recovered having previously been stored at a canal towpath. Crutchley from Perry Bar, Birmingham was also jailed for burgling a widow's home in January where her pet dog and necklace were stolen. He was jailed for seven years and nine months after admitting to two counts of possessing a firearm and possession of a bolt action shotgun and burglary. So that's three separate charges and he got seven years, nine months, serve half. Katal of no fixed address was caged for six years. He pleaded guilty to two counts of possessing firearm with intent to cause fear and possession of a shotgun. He was also admitted possession of a slam gun and possession of shotgun cartridges that were recovered from a flat by police. So this is very lenient sentences to be honest for these two guys. I hope they sort their lives out when they do come out of prison and understand that walking around with firearms robbing people is not a productive or safe way to live. I'm glad that the shopkeeper is safe as well and his family was not harmed in this story. There's been cases in Birmingham in the past where armed robbers have shot people dead for trying to intervene. 
luckily these guys I don't think were intent on using that weapon but at the same time you don't know and you shouldn't be taking that risk when it comes to your life so I really appreciate you joining me for this story I've got plenty more news on the way please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'll be back again very shortly peace